Hello, Pisces. Hello, Cancer. Elsie here to do your reading, uh, your energetic check-in for the week ahead. It is uh, time for that. It is Tuesday. I'm a little bit late. But, you know, um, I just wanted to thank you uh, right off the top for all of your requests for um, private readings. So thank you so much for supporting my business that way. Um, and, uh, you know, guys, donations are always accepted. But really, I really love to give you a worth for your money. So that is really the best way. If you want to, um, you can uh, book a reading with me over at Wizio if you're outside of Canada, um, uh, wisio.com, or if you're inside of Canada, just email me. All that information is below, links, email addresses, all of that. All right, so I am here to do Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for Pisces and Cancer, but I'm going to start with Pisces first, so Cancer, if you would just fast forward to your video from here. So, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, we just need to know what's going on. What is in the ethers for Pisces this week? going on let's figure out what's going on what is of the highest good please of Pisces the highest good of Pisces Sun Moon rising Venus and Jupiter we've got the nine of wands in reverse good for you Pisces okay so your walls are down I feel like you you are feeling a little less um, a little less defensive than you've been feeling in the past I feel like um, you are taking actions in order to do that now what I mean by actions is I feel like you're taking actions towards yourself like you know self-help and taking care of you and you know loving yourself like you would love others and I think that um, you no longer have fear of being in the shadow of the wounded warrior that that is no longer your identity that's what that is thank you so much my guides and angels are wonderful you guys there is no more time for you to spend on um, living your life as a wounded individual so somebody people have written on the slate of who you are and terrible things i think um, um i feel like if not really terrible things i think some of you got to the depth of darkness but i feel like you know you're just um feeling as though you no longer identify with that sort of um, energy. You no longer identify with being the wounded warrior because that does, you know, when, you, when we label person, people, that does end up um, affecting us as how people see us in our lives, right? Um, yeah, you're walking away from that. I feel like you. not only are you walking away from identifying as someone who has been, you know, abused or someone who has been, you know, has taken enough enough actions against them you're walking away from it you're like no i'm worth more than that eight eight of um cups in the upright is you not only walking away from the eight but going towards the two so i feel like you've healed pisces um, you've healed yourself within you've taken down your walls you no longer identify as someone who's an abuse victim you no longer identify that way you've walked away from all of it good for you that's great work and then we have the king of swords and i think you may have been seeing someone who helped you with this i think um that you could have been seeing someone who is a psychologist psychiatrist someone who could speak in your defense or um, help you figure out what was going on here i also feel like um, there is um, an opportunity for you to speak about this so when you do speak to others and now that you've come out of this identification of self being the wounded warrior i feel like you speak to others and you take in an opportunity um, to speak about um, um, how not to label yourself, how not to call yourself the wounded warrior, the one that walked away, or the, the king of swords, or the person. You know, I, instead of labeling yourself, I feel like what you've done here is that you took off the labels finally, and now you're moving forward. Wow, that's really freaking impressive, Pisces. <laughs> it's super impressive. Good for you. All right, someone's taken off their own freaking mask. 
All right, so then we have the chariot. Yeah, it's time for you to move. Move as far away as you can from this wounded warrior label, and um, I feel as though you're ready to move forward here. And with gusto, I feel like, um, you know, when Cancer moves forward in this chariot energy here, it's about moving toward victory, because why would Cancer even move if they're not going to move toward victory, right? So, um, <laughs> it's just how Cancer is. Really? Really? I'm, I'm intuitive enough as a Cancer? I'm not a Cancer, but, you know, a Cancer would say, really? I can see that thing in the end that it's going to be. It's not worth worth me working on it. But I feel like you felt that you were worth working on. So that's super, super cool. Yes, you walked away because you needed to get your temperance. Um, yes, and so you've come to a place of balance. You've come to a place of being connected to the universe. Um, oh my gosh, this temperance card is giving me chills, you guys. Pisces, you have pulled off something that a lot of people do not pull off in this life. You have reinvented yourself. Pisces, you've reinvented yourself. Wow, that really makes me almost weep. It's so beautiful. I feel like someone who's been in a lot of darkness now sees the opportunities of life because I feel like someone's coming towards you to ask you to speak about this stuff too. Um, and I feel like they 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 see you as someone who is a really good speaker and you know how to how to pull yourself out of the darkness gosh so many people need that advice but nonetheless i do see oh tears guys okay so uh what i do see here is you've not only pulled off your mask you've not only not identified yourself as the wounded warrior but you've reinvented yourself and now you're moving forward so you've reinvented yourself people see you as something very different um than uh than you used to be. People are shocked at how different you are. I think when when you do meet up with people from the past, they are completely shocked. Um, I think you're going to agree. If someone does ask you to talk about this whole thing um, in a public place, I think you're going to agree. I think it's going to give you the best feeling ever to help others. Um, I feel like you want this kind of balance, that when you speak your mind, when you speak your truth, and you let people hear it, that it gives you the best kind of balance ever. It gives you reciprocity with the universe. It puts you right in balance. And then we have this opportunity. This is either coming or going, you guys. One of the two. So Pisces, either you're taking out this opportunity or this opportunity is coming into you. Either way, this is going to cause a tower. But you know what? This is not a bad tower. I feel, I feel like it's a good tower. So let's look under here. Cups, you're feeling about regret, something in the past. Whew. Um, something in the past you're regretting. You're thinking about that a lot. Pisces, I think that um, if you are thinking about someone specific um, that you are feeling regrettable about and you're thinking about them too much. If you are trying to manifest them, High Priestess, um, if you are trying to manifest them, I feel as though that is going to happen. Yeah, this person is, is coming forward because they feel you. They don't only know you, Pisces, they feel you. This is someone from the past. You have regrets from the past. So this is someone from the past you've been thinking about. Now, um, you guys, this is something that's going to make you um, uh, realize emotionally that this is the person, you know, your intuition is telling you this is your person. And um, yeah, it is. Absolutely. Victory. Yep. Celebration. Um, I feel as though, yeah, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, this is a beautiful reading. Wow, wow, wow. I see some very, very excited for you. Okay, so let me just get to uh, clarifying here. I just need to cut these guys. Give me a sec. I'm just going to push these up so when we make a mess with the other cards, you can see what is going on. All right. So let's cut these here. Spirit, you've given us this beautiful reading for Pisces. Can you please clarify and give us a little more information about where this connection is going, when they will come together, um, when this person is, um, when Pisces walks away. Six of Cups going back 
to the past, thinking about things that made you happy. Um, I feel as though because your walls are down now, Pisces, I feel like it's time for you to go toward the person from the past. And, um, but you know what? I already think they're coming in, to be honest. I think they're coming in to you um, because they, they feel you. You are the soulmate. You are the person who makes them feel like home, Pisces. Now, your, uh, your person, Pisces, could be like you, a Pisces, or um, they could be um, Scorpio or Cancer as well. Um, we, you, they could also be Aries, um, Sagittarius, or Leo. We have Temperance, which is Sagittarius. We also have Coins, which is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Tower, which is Scorpionic Energy. And then we have the King of Swords, who is um, uh, Aquarius, uh, Gemini and Libra. Okay, so this person makes you feel like home and you make them feel like home. You've been manifesting them, Pisces, and uh, you've been wishing for them, wishing for them with the depth of love like no other. I feel like with the wishing well that there is so much that needs to be talked about that when you look into that wishing well, Pisces, I feel like you're not only hoping and wishing for the things that you want, but I feel like you feel the depth of love, the depth of character, and I think that you really want to talk to this person and find out how they are. Um, temperance, yeah. Just make sure you're in balance. Um, if you do have an opportunity to meet up with this person um, and they do show up, please be kind um, because, you know, People are walking paths that we don't know, and uh, this person could have had a hard path as well. So you're walking away from, yeah, good, from keeping someone or something out in the cold. Five of Pentacles tells me that because you've got your balance and because you've walked away from the things that no longer serve you, which means you bossed up, right? You're like, I'm done with this. Yeah, I can't play these games. I'm done with this. So you've decided that the person that is that you're thinking about when I flip this Five of Pentacles, the person you left out in the cold, um, that person is also feeling it. They're also having regret for not moving forward um, and uh, uh, moving forward with you. Let me take a look under here. Yeah. Somebody's manifesting you, Pisces, and they're manifesting you, they're wishing on a star, they're doing whatever they can, looking for numbers, signs, symbols, they're doing whatever they can to get information about whether or not they should come forward to you. So the Five of Cups tells me that you've left that person out in the cold and they're feeling it. They are in regret that they should have done more um, while they had you rather than, you know, being in regret. This person does not see these two cups behind them. Um, they're going to have to turn around. We're going to have to look at the 180. Yeah. Justice. Things are about to get into balance. Yeah. This is all about balance, this row. It's about temperance. It's about the Eight of Cups walking away. It's about justice. It's about bringing someone in from out of the cold. It's about, oh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy, Pisces. The lovers. Yeah. It's about your soulmate. This is your intended person. They could be a Gemini. Um, but you would know better than I because you are thinking about a specific person, Pisces, and I feel as though you already know who is coming forward. Um, this person could have Gemini in their chart. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. Speaking up for reciprocity. The star, healing, yeah. Healing together the rest of the way. The devil energy, having fear that things are not going to be full of reciprocity. So speaking up, telling this person what you want, telling them what you don't want, telling them what your hopes, ooh, telling them what your hopes and fears are. So they're aware of what you're scared of and what you really hope for the connection. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this person's waiting for the right time. Pisces, they're waiting for the right time to come into you. They're holding on to you so tight. 
so tight. Look how tight she's hanging on to that dollar. But um, yeah, I feel like you're waiting for the right time. You're holding on to this person anyway. No one else is going to get your person but you. Um, we are going to clarify the, um, the Knight of Coins, please. Pentacles is the new start. Yep, someone's bringing in an opportunity of love. Wow. So we have, okay, Queen of Pentacles. So this person is financially stable. This person's lovely, kind, charitable. This person has love for you and they are looking at opening up a new chapter with you um, because the fool is here. Yeah, look how beautiful that spread is there. So yeah, something new is going to begin because love has to begin. And uh, this person coming towards you could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but they also could be someone who is um, just very stable very stable, very grounded, uh, someone who likes the outdoors, someone who likes to take their shoes off, get their feet in the sand or in the grass. Um, um, the uh, Fool is Aries, by the way, and um, the Ace of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And uh, then we have Earth here. What's going on with this tower? Yep, it's coming to rock out the Empress's life here. Now, you know that you are you know, if you if you are a Pisces, um, you're likely an Empress because Pisces is the highest with the highest intuitiveness in the uh, in the zodiac. So um, I feel like you you could be an Empress, Libra and Taurus. I feel like there is an opportunity coming, and you're kind of side eyeing it. There, you see the side eye. <laughs> you're kind of side eyeing it, and um, the King of Swords. So you're not expecting this tower, actually. Um, you're not expecting this tower. You're not expecting anything, actually. And this person is galloping in. They're coming for love. It's going to throw a tower in the midst. And um, I feel like this person is coming in for keeps. Let's look at some romance angels. There we go. Romance angels for Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We've got attraction. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah, I think that you and your person have a lot to talk about. You deserve love. Who doesn't, right? Everyone deserves love. And it is safe for you to love. One more. Unrequited love. Okay, so this is someone from the past here, Pisces. Someone who turned you away. Someone who said, nah, I'm good. And so I feel like this person doesn't really know if you're still in the connection because they've had a change of heart and they have decided that they're going to be coming in, coming back around again, that darn Mercury retrograde, coming back around to see if you're single, to see if you're still in love, to see what's going on. And then we have rest and rejuvenation and the goddess of the moon. So really all you have to do <laughs> Pisces, in order to uh, get this connection and all this beautifulness that is coming toward you, is you just need to wait. You need to take care of yourself and you need to connect with spirit and make sure that you are healed, um, kind, that you're approaching this, this meeting with a good, um, with goodness in your heart. And um, I feel as though that the rest and rejuvenation means that you just need to take care of you, like your body and soul. Uh, work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio, and uh, new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Interesting, okay. So, I'm gonna ask about these. New romantic cycle begins. Work through your fears. What sort of fears are you working through here, Pisces? What are you working through? Because Libra and Scorpio season, that's not until September, October. Just saying. You might want to look up when the new moon is in Scorpio 2021. When is the new moon in Libra 2021? I believe this is October. Um, so work through your fears. Uh, two of Pentacles. Try and keep your balance as much as you can because you're getting some communication, Pisces. Something is coming in that is going to uh, rock your world a little bit. And um, yeah, someone who's not playing, someone who's coming in for keeps. They're coming in, they're coming in kind, they're coming in s pretty fast. And they're going to come in like, hey, 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 how you doing? Just here, just, you know, being all balanced and shit. And then... <laughs> 
Boom. <laughs> Communication. You need to be my love. Here, take this wreath. Put it on your head. I want to marry you. And uh, victory is what we're looking at here. Okay. Yeah. A new romantic cycle begins. Yep. Someone bringing in the love. Someone bringing in that cup. Knight of Pentacles, right? Romance. Not spilling a drop. Waiting to get there. New romantic cycle begins. Absolutely. King of Cups. Deep. Loving. Uh, amazing. Supportive. Um, romantic. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then we have the star. And then you two get to heal the rest of the way together. Wow, wow, what a great reading, Pisces. Okay, it's been a while since you have had a reading this good, I think. <laughs> I can't wait to get it uploaded. I'm going to go for now, Pisces. I hope this was your story. And if it isn't, I hope that you hope for this story for yourself. And please leave me a comment. I'd love to know if this is your story. I'm going to go, Pisces. You know I love you, okay? I'm out for now. Um, if you do want a reading like this, please go to Wizio, w -I -S -I com. If you're outside of Canada, inside of Canada, just email me, and I'll take care of you that way. Oh. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, Cancer. Elsie here to do your energetic update for the week ahead. Thank you for logging in here. Thank you for clicking. I really hope that you'll give me a thumbs up if you like the content here. Um, I'm just going to be doing just a freehand random read. We are going to ask for the energy of Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Cancer. The Collective, please. Oh, we've got cards falling out already. Okay. Well... We started with this card in the Pisces reading, I'm just saying. So you might just, there might be something over in the Pisces reading for you. So, um, you know, the, um, the wands, the, um, the ten of wands, or sorry, the nine of wands in reverse tells me that, you know, that you're, um, you're healing, that you're, um, uh, you're in you're in healing mode. Your walls are down. I think you're feeling better. I think you're feeling as though you can move forward now. And I think, um, yeah, I think somebody hurt you, Cancer. I think you've been really hurt, like to the point where you're almost on your knees. And I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry someone hurt you. Um, but I feel like you're coming out of that. I feel like you are feeling stronger, that you feel like you you have the wand in your hand now and you know that you can defend yourself. And I feel like you felt like you couldn't defend yourself before. Um, defending from what though? Making a decision. Someone made a decision with their intuition that caused them to have the Wheel of Fortune. Let me take a look at this here. Okay, so I think that you are going to make um, a decision here, Cancer. Now, you know that you are Cancer um, and you are intuitive. You do have water in your, char in your chart. Energy is conductive. Um, water is a conductor of energy and you feel things. You feel things from people. So you don't necessarily have to know that they're happening in real time in order to feel them. You will feel them usually ahead of everyone else. This is the card of Pisces. Um, again, so this card came out, first card in Pisces reading. This is Pisces. You might There might be something in Pisces reading for you. So we have this, the, um, the two of swords. I think there's something that you don't want to see, Cancer. I think the thing that you don't want to see is that you are highly intuitive and that in itself is enough to push this wheel forward. You are communicating with the universe, whether you know that you are or not, whether you're sleeping or awake. You might be someone that says, meh, yeah, I'm a cancer, but I'm not highly intuitive. But how did you know that other thing was going to happen? How did you know your friend's relationship was gonna break up? Like there are, um, there are things that um, you know that other people don't know. And I don't think you're, you're s too scared about the quick changes that are coming up here because this is about really fast changes. I don't know that you're very scared about the fast changes that are coming up because there is um, intuition here, right? And you're trying not to see something. What are you trying not to see? Are you trying not to see your intuition? Oh, you're not trying to see the lies and secrets. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, there are lies and secrets here. I think that's why you were hurt. You were hurt from the lies and the secrets. And hmm, let's find out what's going to go on from here. Interesting.
I don't know about your intuition, but when my guides and angels pop in, they're like, oh, no, this is what's going on. I'm like, oh, <laughs> sometimes I get corrected, but that's okay. So we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like um, you feel as though you are back on a path of having opportunity. <clears throat> Uh, opportunity in terms of love, uh, in terms of emotional happiness. So I feel like you see all the opportunity. Okay, I see. You see all the opportunities, but you're too scared to go forward. You see the opportunities, but you don't want to see the opportunities. Oh, so you're trying to use your intuition. Yeah, okay, I get it. Um, yeah. <sighs> trying to stay balanced. If you don't stay balanced, it could be catastrophic. So as somebody who's probably short on funds, short on money, you feel as though at any moment you could fall off that tightrope and it could be called catastrophic. That the only thing that's keeping you in balance right now is the fact that you have a job and you're making a bit of money. Um, or you have small bits of money that do come in for you from time to time. What are you looking at in your intuition here? What is this? Devils? Okay. Um, fear. Feeling stuck. Okay. You know what it is? Um, you're feeling stuck because there are secrets and... Um, there are secrets and things that are going on in the background that you don't want to see. The fact of the matter is, cancer is, it's in your face. It's in your face and you don't want to see it, but your intuition is screaming at you saying, um, I know you're scared. I know that you feel like this could be a bad decision. Um, if you feel like it's a terrible decision, cancer, then please use your intuition. But what I feel is that you are scared of the secrets and the lies that you know are there and you're not looking for them. And you are trying to keep your balance here because if you don't, you feel like if you fall down, you may never get up. What's changing here? Conversation. Quick changes in um, new conversation. Um, being very straightforward very straightforward and telling the person what it is that you want and being honest about it and if that person walks away after you're honest with them then let them walk away cancer then they're not for you but you have to be able to tell people why you're scared you have to be able to tell your person you know i'm scared about the secrets i i need you to be honest with me i don't want to see it i don't want to know that you're you know got anything in the past that you've got a third party connection and when you try and talk to your person, Cancer, they get very defensive. They feel as though they have to fight you from the highest, um, from the highest part of themselves. They feel like they need to, um, yeah, defensive, be defensive, because they feel like you're you're saying things as though these things aren't happening, and it's not true. Keep your strength and keep speaking your mind, uh, Queen of Swords, and then you will get your balance. There will be finally communication with someone that you should have been communicating with all along. Um, yeah, you're a little bit worried about what's in the background of what could transpire, but, you know, the fact of the matter is, um, it is really all up to you, Cancer. It's totally all up to you. And you get to make the decisions about whether you want to be stuck or scared or listen to the lies, um, whether you want to open up conversation um, and, and get unstuck. You know, this is stuck, this is unstuck. Um, whether you want to get unstuck or not, it's completely up to you. So what I feel here is that <clears throat> you've identified so long with... Um, uh, who you thought you were, you've identified so long as a victim. It's time to get out of the victim mentality because when you move out of this victim mentality, you get um, blessings. We have the hermit. I know that you have been um, in inward, um, trying to figure out what it is that you need to fix within yourself in order to have these opportunities come toward you. And I think with strength, you figured out that what you needed to do is to stop identifying as a victim. So stop doing that. <laughs> you are in charge of your life. Um, Knight of Cups, once you stop identifying as the victim and realize there's opportunities out there for you, but that you're going to have to get off your ass and work for it, that's when this Knight of Cups comes in. And this is not anyone that you know. This is a new love. This is someone who's brand, brand new. And um, 
this person is going to like you for who you are, is going to love you for who you are. This is going to start out as friendship or something like that. And then it's going to move into love because this person will see your strength. Yeah, speaking up and deciding that, you know what, I'm, I'm at the crossroads here, Cancer. That's what I think you're deciding. I'm at the crossroads. There's nothing for me to lose here, whether I go that way or that way. So I'm going to pick a way. Um, I think that you've already decided that you want way more in your world than you're used to getting. You might be moving or you might be um, going on a trip or moving away or maybe just taking like an hour long trip outside the city. But I feel like, um, or in the country, to the city, if that's where you live, but I feel like um, you've learned a lot through this process of being in the hermit mode. You've learned a lot about your strength and uh, you've learned a lot about you know, what it is to be in love. That it really what love is, is two people that come together and um, understand each other and the reason that they love each other is because they understand each other and you need to continue to keep to keep speaking up regardless of who walks away i don't think you want them to so i think you don't want to see what's going on here um yeah you're barely keeping in balance if you're in a relationship right now it's barely keeping in balance right now and it's coming to a painful end you will get hurt here this person is going to stab you in the back do not trust them um, the person that you're with right now is someone who is not on the up and up. They are someone who is barely in balance themselves. And they come to you with under the guise of, oh, yeah, I'm totally balanced. Look at me. I'm the queen of wands. I take whatever I want. But the truth is, is that they can't take whatever they want. The only reason they take it from you, Cancer, is because you allow it. All right. You can't lose balance here. It could be catastrophic the sun okay so um the sun the queen of wands i feel like you feel really good about yourself lately you feel like you look good you feel like i don't know there's a specific thing about yourself that you like whether it's your hair or maybe the way you put on your makeup or um maybe it's the clothes that you wear i think you're feeling way better about yourself lately and um this queen of wands energy is you know very fiery you're feeling sexy and um i think that this is going to continue to grow as long as you continue to move forward cancer the high priestess is clarifying the high priestess and um the five of wands so there's indecision here the thing is is that there really isn't indecision cancer the indecision is you don't want to be alone so that's why you're not leaving this person even though we've got the high priestess doubling down on the high priestess here you know clarifying the high priestess it's saying there are things you can't see there are lies there are secrets and you're not in indecision you know what you should do cancer but you don't want to do it and that's why you're fighting with yourself you know what the right thing to do is you're scared to be alone i get it um but i think that if you're alone you can work on you you know that there is nothing in the way of working on you yep I think that you just need some good news about someone who is attracted to you, someone who just wants to go out with you, maybe take you for a coffee or a drink. And um, Two of Swords, you don't have to make any decisions about whether or not you are going to date this person. You don't have to do that right now. But I think it's good for you to get out and um, if it's safe to do so and uh, find out the things that you like. You know, make, make a few decisions about the things that you like to do. Things that are changing fast, you taking absolute control of your life and starting out brand new again. And I think this is why the, um, the uh, Ace of Swords is here because we're starting out brand new here and you're meeting new people and you're talking about new things. You might even have uh, passion. It is passion a passion for you to be financially stable. That's really what you want to do. You want to be financially stable. You want good news about money. You want to be able to start something on your own. Maybe you're an entrepreneur and you want to start, uh, want to go out on your own and start something new. That could very well be. Okay, so we are going to ask the Island Time Wellness Cards. So I think this is more about you, Cancer, um, being okay with just being with you because I feel like the person that you could be with seeing now and again, I don't know that it's a solid relationship, that person's not being honest with you. And there's a lot of things in the distance that you can't see that could potentially hurt you. 
I feel like, yes, um, that transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new uh, new phase, preparing for union. So I was talking about this, um, this uh, Knight of Cups coming in with this love, right? I feel like the only way that this person's going to continue to travel in your direction is if you do make the decision, two of um, swords, make the decision about what you want to ask your person about what they're hiding. Because you know there are secrets in the background, but you're not asking because you don't want to know the answers. This person comes in for sex and sex only. It's all about seduction. They come in and they see if they can um, seduce you uh, in order um, to be able to in order to be able to bring you to their side, to think like they do, to be on their side, to be on their team. This person could even be married. Keep a positive mindset with abundance. So I really feel as though you need to take a good, hard, long look at what is going on in a current relationship because you are blocking out currently what is supposed to be yours in terms of love. And if you don't let go of this person who is not treating you well, you won't be able to have the benefits of all of the stuff that is supposed to um, be good for you, like love and marriage, um, like a lot of money fish that's what the fish are in the lenormand like you know going out places this person wants to take you and show you off they want to um they want to um, go to social places places where people gather and um if it's safe to do so and um they want to have a new beginning with you because they think you're amazing yeah so the thing is this is you need to get rid of whoever it is that's in your energy right now because that person is not being honest with you and there are some lies going on here um uh, it's it's hard enough to see the, the High Priestess come out in this kind of situation once, but when she doubles down and, and does it twice, it's time for you to figure out what you're doing with this current connection because it, it does have a lot of really toxic energy, um, toxicity, um, possibly uh, someone who's addicted to a substance you could know or maybe don't know that. Um, but I feel like this person does a lot of talking and tries to talk you in and out of things they are not someone who is good for the rest of your time here um they are someone who's going to just going to keep bleeding you for money taking advantage making you think like they want to marry you and love you but they really don't um but this person who's coming in this knight of wands here sorry knight of cups this knight of cups is bringing in the stuff your ability to be able to say anything at any time they uh, want to take you away. They want to take you away somewhere. And um, they really enjoy the fact that you're very honest with um, everything that you say and do. Okay. I'm going to go for now. Thanks, Cancer, for dropping in for this reading. If you're interested in getting a reading like this, please look below. Anything you need to know, outside of Canada, it's Wizio. W-I-S-I-O dot com. Inside Canada, it is... Um, uh, you can just email me and I'll help you. Sorry. Did you hear my brain click off? I've been reading too long today. <laughs> okay, Cancer, I'm out. I hope you are well. And uh, yeah, this is your energetic update for the week. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.